can chase away your dreams. Yeah, I don't know, guys. That's the best Enrique Iglesias I got. What's going on, guys? Andy here, cut and clean lawn care. It rained seven inches here yesterday day in a 24 hour period so i'm probably not gonna be able to start mowing till like 11 or noon let some of this dry up but uh, i definitely got to get into some of the maintenance on these machines but before i do that i want to talk about today's sponsor of the video and that shout out goes to LMN Software. If you guys haven't checked out LMN Software, go over to golmn.com, check it out, see if the software's right for you. It's got a lot of features in it that are pretty cool. Hey everybody, real quick before we start this video, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by LMN Business Management Software. You can see what's new by going to golmn.com or search LMN in your Google search bar. It's simple, super easy to run your business with a peace of mind. A software made by landscapers for landscapers. Over 85,000 users and counting right now. LMN is the industry's premier business management solution. Right now you can sign up for free and see if LMN is something that can work for you, for people as small as owner operators in business or people that are running multiple, multiple crews with millions and millions of dollars. Feel free to check out LMN again by going to golmn.com. So it is Friday. I've literally only been able to mow one day and it was from 8.30 in the morning till 8.30 at night, all day. I got so much stuff done, but I'm gonna need to do that at least two more times to get caught up through the rest of the week. But. With that being said, that whole day was wet and nasty from the rain before, so I'm sure this thing has a ton of grass under it, and I'm sure this thing has a ton of grass under it, and I need to grease some stuff, so that's just kind of what I'm going to go into on today's video. Oh yeah, and I also got a first aid kit. So I don't know if you guys saw it on Instagram, but the other day I was out mowing and I ran into Blake, which I usually do because we live in the same area. We're always finding each other and seeing each other. And uh, we were talking for a little bit and I was noticing his old trailer and I was just looking at the hub rubber caps, noticing that they've never been taken off before. And I asked him, when's the last time you greased the hubs on your trailer? He goes, I don't think ever. I was like, brother, don't sleep on the maintenance. And don't get me wrong, trust me, Blake knows that stuff, but every now and then we all need a kick in the bootay and I'm one of those people as well. So I'm gonna get into greasing this stuff scraping these decks out from the last time that I mowed because I'm guaranteeing it's bad. And a lot of times you'll get a change in cut quality on your machines and usually it's because of lack of maintenance, scraping out the deck, sharpening blades, things like that. We gotta stay on top of it. I know I need to stay on top of it. So that's definitely what we're gonna be getting into today. And I would also really, really, really like to get one of those mower jacks that everyone has just to lift up the mower and get into it. But I really don't have a place to set one because my house is so small. So I usually just use the side of my trailer, which gets annoying because I have to lay on the ground out here, which is kind of wet, but. So like I said, we will be getting into that in a minute, but right now I just want to talk about how we are as kind of humans, because I'm one of those people as well. And when it comes to procrastination, tell me some times in your life where procrastination or delaying something that needs to be done has helped you out either in a long-term goal situation or even short-term goal. Not once in my opinion, man. Uh, I'm, I'm a king of procrastination. I am very good at it, which is a very bad habit. And it's something I'm trying to break myself along with other things. If you guys have seen the last videos, like I said, I've been trying to work on myself and things. Just becoming a better person for myself and my family and all those things as well. And procrastination is one of those things. Like my wife asks me, hey, can you change you know, the batteries in the alarm system? Sure, I'll get to it. I'll give it a day or two. I still haven't done it. She's back on me about getting it done. It's that procrastination of the little things that may not be important in your world but need to get done. And maintenance on the machines is the same thing, man. Greasing the hubs on your trailers is the same thing. So I need to grease these machines. I need to do the casters. I need to do the wheels in the front. I need to scrape these decks out. Now, if I procrastinate this and don't do it through the rest of this week, sure, this machine will cut great. But come Monday next week, I'm going to have a headache. All that grass is going to be super dried under there the maintenance side of it is going to be more difficult and the same thing of greasing your machine if you do it more often 
your machine's going to treat you a lot better than being worn down and then getting grease, being worn down and getting grease. If you constantly just keep the upkeep on it, at least in my personal opinion, I feel that stuff is going to last you longer. Leave a comment down below, man. Let me know if you guys are the same way. Are you a procrastinator like me? Because I'm really, really good at it, and it's something I need to work on because there's things that need to get fixed that sometimes I just don't feel like doing at that moment, but I need to start feeling like doing it. That's for sure. I'll tell you what, though, guys. I didn't procrastinate on the coffee, though. And you see, guys, a lot of people say really intelligent things about coffee. A lot of people say they like their coffee like they like their women. And I'm kind of the same way, too. I like my coffee like I like my women. I like them contained, you know, in, in a cup. I mean, in bald. In a state trooper. Shout out to Mitchell's Lawn Care. I did it. I did it all by myself. And I'll talk about something else real quick. Besides being completely out of shape, which is a big part of it as well, being hurt as a solo owner operator is horrible, dude. I, there's either probably something going on with my hip or my knee or I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe the extreme fishing I'm doing on top of all the lawns that I'm mowing. But I think I got plantar fasciitis or something because right in the bottom of my heel towards the front, is killing me excruciatingly. The minute I wake up out of bed, I can't even stand on it. After doing a little bit of stretching, it starts to go away. After I walk on it, doing some trimming throughout the day, it starts to kind of go away. Still hurts, but I'm able to use it. But it's been like two weeks now, and it hurts in the morning. After I use it for a while, it goes away a little bit, but oh man, this sucks. But did you see what I did? There's something else I'm working on. It's called taking extreme ownership or taking ownership. It's not the fact that I may have plantar fasciitis in my foot and something wrong with the tendon. It's the fact that I'm overweight and I'm doing it to myself. Take ownership for the problems. Then the only way I can fix it is by taking care of me, man. That's the only way you can do it. But it's time for me to move all this stuff and get to cleaning these decks out. Like I said, that's all this video really is. I'm just going to hang out for a little bit and talk with you guys. Main point is like the maintenance and the upkeep, man. Don't procrastinate it. Don't push it off to the next day. Get it done now. Just get it done. I've already started to procrastinate. I don't, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> you know? And that changed my mind. I don't feel like doing it off the edge of my trailer right now. Hey, it's still wet with a little bit of mold. Perfect. And the mold's not bad for you, man. It just lets you know you're alive. It's even in my wheel. At least it's coming out in full chunks. That's always a good sign. And on a lot of these mowers, I learned, they all have their little design flaws underneath of these decks, especially in our area. There's a lot of little spots under here where there's nuts and bolts for grass to catch and then it'll accumulate real fast. That uh, velocity deck on that old Skag I have is the same way. It's got a lot of spots that are pretty annoying because I feel like it almost wouldn't even collect grass at all much under some of these if it didn't have a lot of those spots, but it is what it is. got to do what you got to do to make the mowers, I guess. And don't worry, guys. I got some jack stands, a jack. I think my coffee cup's holding up one side too, so we're good. And I know we've all talked about it as lawn care businesses go. And some clients, when you give, uh, what do they call them, like an estimate or some sort of bid on a property, it always relevates to what you're doing on their property. Like, hey, you were only here for 10 minutes. Why am I charging you for such and such and such and such? Yeah, I was only at your yard for 10 minutes, but I just spent the last 20 minutes at my house getting your grass out from underneath my deck. That's time as well. All right. Nastiness. Stuff. Gross. And this is another reason why I need to quit procrastinating. Because this, I literally mowed, what, one and a half days ago? And it's already started to turn into this. And you get all that mold and nasty stuff, mildew, whatever you want to call it, that's all milked up under here. Hey, some free fishing line. But yeah, it takes no time for this to become a disaster and harder to deal with, so the quicker you can get to it, the easier it's going to be. I would have loved to have just done it yesterday while it was raining, but a guy doesn't have a place to do that at, and I don't feel like doing it in the rain. 
You guys see this? This is one day of that delicious, beautiful Missouri mowing. Look at all that. That's one mower deck. I know in my last live that I did with Wally from Beach River, we were complaining, or not complaining, we were conversating between the differences of our areas and why certain machines work in different areas. And he was talking about in Florida where he's at, he never has grass to deal with under the decks. And yeah, this is kind of what we got to deal with up here, man. So welcome to Missouri, brother. And as you can see, the young 36 doesn't get as much use as the 52 at all. But there's definitely still some lessons to be learned underneath here. I hear a mower. Somebody's getting after it. And they're quickly going to regret doing so. I know the masks are a big thing with the old C word virus thing that's been going around, but when you procrastinate the maintenance on these machines as far as having grass packed under there for a couple days and that white mold starts catching on everywhere, that's when a guy needs a mask, for sure. Well, that's about it, guys. Like I said, don't procrastinate or you'll have to deal with this. And that's just one day. And the worst part is, I'm getting ready to go mow here in a little bit, and they're all gonna get just the same as that again. Like I said in the beginning, guys, that's about it, man. It's just getting the stuff that needs to get done out of the way so I can continue throughout my day. This is just a video that might throw us a little reminder to some of you guys, like, you know what? It has been a long time since I greased the hub on the trailer. It has been a long time since I greased the equipment, which is what I'm getting ready to do next. No point in me filming it. You guys know what it is. Just wanted to touch on maintenance because it is important to keep your machines running at their optimal performance and you get the best cut quality out of it. Like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you've never watched one of my videos before. I would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, click the bell, get those notifications, man. I'm always trying to have videos coming to you guys. I don't know, just trying to do something, you know? But for sure, leave a like on the video, man, if it reminded you guys to stay up to date on your maintenance. And always leave a comment down below, man. Do you guys have a maintenance schedule or do you just play it by the weather? Because I know if it's nice, warm, and no rain for a week, usually I don't have a lot of problems with any grass sticking to the deck. Obviously, it's dry. But when you get those clover yards, those dandelion yards, and it's wet with the grass, you're looking for a headache and it's coming quick. But like I said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to get out of here. I got to get all this stuff going on the trailer and mowing today. I'll be mowing all weekend. But what's the weekend? It's the same thing as a weekday. It doesn't matter. It's just another day to get work done. So don't fret about it. It ain't no big deal. Like I always say, guys, I love each and every one of you, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, man. Don't do anything stupid. If it's too wet, don't get your mower stuck. Trim that area, guys. You don't have to push the mower through everything. But until next time, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Check